Hey, Julie here with PaperBeadCrafts.com. I just wanted to introduce you to a new little pair of earrings that I made with paper beads, of course. And basically what they are is a little witch's hat that's been made with actually two strips of black card stuck and then put onto French ear wires. And this is how you make them. What you're going to need first is black cardstock. Um, any old black cardstock will work. If you don't have black cardstock, what you can use is white cardstock and color it black. And this is basically how I would go about doing that. And I just had my white strips here just a second ago. There they are. And let me show you how I would color this. Okay. I would go ahead and color about two inches of it completely, completely covered on one end and then on the edges you want to make sure it's completely covered in black also and uh, of course using black cardstock stock is going to be easier but this will work in a pinch if you don't have any. And you want to make sure you get both sides, both edges covered. All the way. And you don't have to be real careful with this. Just make sure you get the edges colored. Okay, set that one aside. And then you're going to do the same thing with... Uh, the other piece and um, the pieces are eighth inch by 11 inches and this one here is 5 8 inch at the wide end and eighth inch at the other end because basically what you're doing is you're going to put these two together as you roll them up end for end okay and you want to go ahead and completely do the edges on this one also All right, and this one, it, it's not so crucial that you get the very end colored in, because that's going to get covered up with the eighth inch piece. Um, but you do want to have, especially on the top here, go in maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch or so, um, because of the way it gets rolled up, you'll see some of it. And uh, this side here is going to end up being the flat side of the cone, so that one's not as crucial because you're not going to see it. But you want to make sure that the end gets covered and you cover the color the uh, exposed areas that will show just about that much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll the actual black cardstock that I have. Okay. And look at that. I'm going to end up having to get myself a new uh, white background later on. But anyway, here is the strips that I have. Uh, one sheet of cardstock will make 16 little tiny hat beads. And this is the way you make them. I'm going to get my toothpick here. My glue that I use is any heavy white glue will be fine. And it's going to take me just a moment to get started here. Okay, and another thing you're going to need is a 1 16th inch paper bead roller. It can be slotted or it can be a split pin. It doesn't really matter. And I use a little tiny bead at the end if I'm having trouble rolling the bead, rolling the paper, because it is cardstock. So I'm going to stick that on there on the end just like that. And I'm going to get started with this bigger piece and I need to pay close attention to which way I'm rolling it because I want to make sure I end up with a cone so you stick the uh, paper in through the two pins it's actually they're flat sided pins on the inside and they're round, out, round on the outside and you squeeze it together and you start rolling it 
Sometimes you have a hard time getting started because that's the nature of the cardstock. But with a little bit of patience, it'll work. Okay. Oh, well, that one worked without the little bead on it. So I just keep rolling it and keep rolling it. Making sure that the flat edge stays um, where the flat edge is and let it be, become a cone. If this, if the, the point, the narrow end was centered over the wide end, um, you'd have to actually force the bead into a cone shape just by pushing down on it. But in this case, you, you don't really have to. And I'm at a point where I'm going to put some glue on the end so it will stay put. You don't need a whole lot. Again, this is cardstock. When I glaze these, I don't want glue to be on the outside because the glaze won't stick very well and it will look splotchy. Okay, so I'm going to keep rolling. Okay, so that's the end of that one. And I'm going to push this up on my pins a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the end of this little eighth inch piece here. And I like to glue this all the way around. So since it's five eighths of an inch, it, you want to glue at least an inch and wipe off the excess because you really don't need the excess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and butt this up so I don't end up with a bump. Hold it there a few seconds so it will stay put when you start rolling. Takes a few seconds. And then just go ahead and start rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling. All right, and uh, almost there at the end. Again, you don't want too, too much glue, but you want enough so it will stay put. And you want to go ahead and, and roll all of your hat beads all at once. You get them all done first before you glaze them. And if you've seen my glazing beads video, basically I glaze these the same way I glaze all of my other beads. Okay, pull it off the paper bead roller, set that aside, and sometimes it'll get messed up like this. Nothing to worry about. Just push down on it, push down on the brim, bang it on the table if you have to. Okay, and that's it. That's, that's a, a hat-shaped paper bead. Okay, I'm not going to bother rolling the other one. What I'm going to do is show you what to do next. Okay, when you're glazing them, when I hang them, I dip, I string them on 50 pound test fishing line. You can get that. I, I got mine at Walmart, paid about $8 for it. And I think I got 275 yards. And it's 50 pound test. It's a little bit thick. It's a little bit thinner than the actual 16th inch hole. Um, basically, you just go ahead and string them on, dip them into the PC Petrifier four times, allowing the first coat to dry about six to eight hours, and then the rest of, coat of the coats about one or two hours between them. And then the final coat is, I use Janice May's Vibrance. And this is the Vibrance that I use, and this is the PC Petrifier that I use. And you can get this at Amazon, and I think this one was about $18, and this was actually about that also. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, I don't remember the exact numbers. But this is what it looks like on the 50 pound test line. I use a waist bead at the, the top and the bottom. The reason why this one's gone is because I made the earrings with the two of the beads that had been already glazed and I didn't bother putting that bead back on. These are done. I just wanted to show you how they were strung. And with this waist bead, if you want to keep these waist beads and actually use them, 
Um, I recently discovered that you can use one of those little tiny hand operated drills. Uh, let's see if I can find mine right here in my drawer. It's a pin vise and it comes with little drills and you can actually use it to clean out the holes. You can The uh, little drill bits are right inside this thing. It comes with a few of them. I discovered with this particular tool though this big fat one for some reason just does not fit inside the tool. Um, but I'm going to put these other ones in here and close the cap. I might as well demonstrate it while I have it out because this works great to make those waste beads actually usable. Okay, so you twist this to open it up. Twist it enough so that you can put get the uh, drill bit in there. Okay, and then you got to tighten it. Okay, and you want to make sure it's real, real tight. And I'm going to show you how to drill out this bead. Get my cutters here. Okay, take the bead off. And it's it's pretty well full of, of glaze. So basically what you do is you put that in there and you just wind it up. Let's see if I have another one that actually needs it more. Yeah, that one that one's definitely it was a waste bead and I couldn't I can't use it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out. Might take a few minutes to get it started. but it will work. It's a good thing to do in front of watching videos, Netflix or something like that, but it does work. It takes time and here comes the drill through the other side and then you can just pull it, pull it to get it out and that one's done. It doesn't really mess up the bead much. It doesn't mess up the bead. You just keep doing it until you're happy with it and that's basically how those work. So I'm going to go ahead and Take it apart and put that back. Okay, now to get on to what the whole topic of this video is supposed to be, making the earrings with those little tiny hat, witch hat beads. Just in time for Halloween. Okay, so I'm going to take two of the beads right there, perfect. Okay, and you're going to need the, the ear wires, and what did, what happened to those? I had them right here. Got them, okay. You're going to need two head pins. Actually, w one inch will work, but since I don't have one inch, I'm going to use two inch. And you're going to need round nose pliers and you're going to need your little wire cutters because you got to cut it short a little bit. Okay, basically all you do, this is really really easy, just put the uh, little bead on the head pin and make let the head stop at the hole. Okay, and then you're going to bend it right on top of the uh, hat and then you're going to cut it off to about a quarter of an inch or so. Alright, and then I go ahead and I make my simple loop. And that one's ready to be put onto the ear wire. Let's repeat that process. Head pin through the hole and then bend it and cut it down all right and then make the round hole the round loop simple loop okay and then you get you have your ear wires here I go ahead and reopen that loop, but this time you want to do it sideways like this so you won't make the uh, loop out of shape. And then you just put the ear wire on and fold it back.
to where it was. There's one. Okay, let's do the same thing. Grab that loop you made earlier, open it up by bending it out. Well, you don't pull it out. You want to do it to the side and then fold it back. And that pair of little witch hat paper bead earrings are done. And hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you, uh, the pattern is actually available for free on the website in the new pattern section called Patterns. Look under Earrings and you can download the PDF file as well as um, there's a pattern sheet right there. There's no template with this one, uh, but the size of the strips that you need to cut are available or printed right out for you on the instructions. And that's basically it. Watch, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that way, any new videos that I add, you'll be notified of, of them right away. And it's going to be below the video. And also, go ahead and share this with anybody you want to, because this is free. And Halloween is coming up next month. Uh, thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.